Hi, Captains, and welcome to the Hyperion Lounge. Nice to see you all again. It sure has been a while. <laughs> it hasn't been that long. I think you're just tired of waiting and really looking forward to what's in store with the new version. Without a doubt, I cleared all the stages in the last Elysian Realm update in one sitting. I can't wait to see what will happen next. Plus, I'm super excited for a certain character's debut. You mean Grissio? Yep. Ever since I learned she was coming, I've been dying to see her in game. She's a cute artist that reminds me of the talented singer Eden. She sounds like an interesting character with plenty of background. Now I see what you're excited about. I'm sure everyone is dying to learn more. So let's check out some of the new game content in this update. まるで彼女のように私はこれをずっと持っているのこれを見ると彼女の様子笑顔全ての人への愛を思い出せいらっしゃい可愛いお客さん君たちの前にいるのは百年に一人の天才今世紀で最も偉大な魔術師消えた人たちは星になって私を守ってくれてるってハプニアお母さんが言ってたでもそんなの嫌私もみんなと一緒に自分自身の目を持ちたいの Is the new update a big one? Don't worry, there'll be way more than enough to keep you busy. Yes! Vil V, the great magician, is finally about to begin her performance. And here comes Grizio, everyone's favorite. That's right. Grizio is one of the 13 flame chasers. She ranks number 11, and her signet is stars. What impression did she give you at first? I love the minimalist design. It's a simple look that perfectly highlights a young girl's innocence. Yep, Grissio's style is different from the other flame chasers. She wears a simple white dress that reflects her personality, pure and unadorned, like a blank piece of paper. Speaking of her dress, notice anything that stands out? What do you mean? Oh, I know, the paint. Yep, when she gets busy with a painting, some paint is bound to end up on her clothes. Sounds true to life. That's right. It makes her feel more realistic and authentic. And when you look at her background, there's something else that stands out. Much like a plain piece of paper, when she builds bonds with others, she takes on their colors, reflecting those bonds. Good catch. In the Elysian Realm story, Grissio has been spoiled by everyone around her. She's a good kid, but gets tangled up in everyone else's affairs. Now, I want to know who Grissio looks up to and what sort of upbringing she's had. You'll have to play the game to find out. All in all, Grissio is cute as a button and quiet as the night sky. Painting is her language, and she uses her paintbrush to express her understanding of the world and everyone around her. She can't even fight without a paintbrush in her hand. Speaking of battle, I think most captains must be wondering how she handles herself in a fight. I thought maybe Grissia would make her paintbrush huge to smash her enemies. <laughs> that sounds more like Kiana. Let's check out Grissio on the battlefield. As you can see, Grissio is a Psy type SP melee fighter, providing physical support and able to apply the bleed debuff. She wields a cross and attacks by splashing paint and fighting side by side with Mr. Knight. What a gifted artist. She painted Mr. Knight alive to lend a hand, but young Grissio can hold her own in battle too. So how does she use paint? 
First, Grissio's basic attack comes in different colors. When hitting a target by tapping Ultimate, the color will change. Landing attacks of different colors grants corresponding buffs. There are three colors. Red increases physical damage dealt to unshielded enemies or enemies whose shields have been broken. Yellow increases total damage dealt to bleeding enemies, and blue increases bleed damage dealt. Since Grissio attacks by painting, she's always thinking of the best way to use colors. That's right. Grissio's ultimate also comes down to colors. She'll have five colors at her disposal and unfold a huge canvas, dealing AOE damage for a time to enemies. If she exits during this time, all of her color buffs will be transferred to the next deployed Valkyrie. Grissio's ultimate is like a painting done in one single stroke. Oh, right, I also want to talk about another detail I saw. When Grissio is attacked, Mr. Knight will hold her up so that she won't fall. What a gentleman! If I were there, I'd make sure Grissio doesn't get hurt fighting alongside Mr. Knight to keep her safe. This update also features new weapons and stigmata. I want to first introduce the new cross weapon, Elysian Astra and Pre-Elysian Astra, Heart's Color. Those are some fancy weapons. Were those colors painted by Grissio? She is a talented artist after all. Could be, but you'll have to play to find out. Also making a debut is the new stigma set, Cezanne. Oh, Cezanne, a forerunner of modern art and a master of color. That makes this a good fit for Grissio's fighting style. Yeah, a perfect match. In addition, a new divine key is also on its way. It'll be Hersher of Thunder's new weapon. Seven Thunders of Retribution Rumble, and it's pre-arm Seven Thunders of Retribution Narukami. Thunders over Nagazora will redefine the glory of Hersher of Thunder. After Hersher of Thunder equips Seven Thunders of Retribution, the weapon active will unleash an X-shaped slash and multiple slashes after that, dealing lightning damage. When used in burst mode, the slashes will come from Kurakara instead. After unleashing an ultimate finisher, Kurakara will stay on the battlefield to perform Bombard. That sounds so awesome! Version 5.8 also launches a special enhancement event for Seven Thunders of Retribution. You'll be able to complete missions to obtain SC Metal H2, Crystals, and more. Don't miss out if you're looking to quickly enhance the new Divine Key. During Elysium Everlasting's previous chapter, plenty of unbelievable accidents had occurred. They shattered the original piece and left a treacherous air in its place. In Chapter 30, big changes are sure to come, and the Flame Chasers will all react differently. Not only will we get a glimpse of their past memories, but we'll also get some insight on their current choices. May will team up with everyone to reveal what's been going on behind the scenes. Chapter 30 will be longer than Chapter 29. And that means more excitement, too. I can't wait to play it. Be patient and stay tuned. Other than the new story plot, the new story open world will also be released. This time, the story focuses on the amusement park in Elysium Everlasting. New treasure chests and traps on the map await your discovery. You can also obtain shiny coins, which can be used in the event shop to exchange for crystals, Stigma Aponia, Perdition Top, Starry Impression Fragments, and more. Speaking of the amusement park, what new features will be added? There will definitely be some new features to look forward to. First, the Covenant Signet will be added to weapon cards. Compared with normal Signet cards, the Covenant Signet provides more powerful buffs that make battling easier. Elysium Everlasting will also bring a new challenge mode. When you have Persona cards that match corresponding stages, you can unlock trial stages. The new feature also has a ranking system. Try and best these trials if you love a challenge. That's all for the story update. Anything else new in the Elysian realm? First, the new character Grissia will be joining us. That'll be quite a surprise. You'll also see Fervent Tempo Delta in the Elysian realm. Awesome! I've been looking forward to seeing more familiar faces. So I'm happy to hear it. Make sure to stay tuned for future version updates. I also have another secret. More and more old characters will be joining the Elysian Realm.
so the new character reveal was just the beginning. This version update also features Nexus and enhanced signets of stars and discipline. Captains will have more tactical options in Elysian Realm challenges. The new featured card event is the Journey of Painting Stars. Our young painter will meet many people during this event. Fortunately, they'll choose to team up with Grissio in battle. You can never have enough friends. So how will the young Grissio begin her adventure? When version 5.7 started to feature weapon cards, you said you wanted an event where you could play cards, right? Well, now you can. The first part of the event will be collecting cards. By completing story battles and shop recruitment, you can collect card partners called painting cards. Meanwhile, you can also collect various card upgrades throughout your journey. In this way, you can keep boosting the power of your card partners. Got it. Recruit partners, upgrade partners, and form a lineup to start battle. Yes, but this event will feature elements of strategy as well. Before the battle begins, you can select the lineup and change the position sequence on the prep screen. Give full play to the advantages of different partners and win battles with ease. In addition to an auto-cast basic attack and passive skill, each card partner boasts a powerful ultimate. During the battle, you can cast ultimate to quickly defeat opponents. Awesome! That's good news for card lovers. What are the rewards for playing cards? I knew you'd ask. Playing cards can earn you crystals and material options. In addition, you may receive Luna Kindred's new outfit before the dawn. Wow, Luna Kindred's new outfit. It's not common to see Teresa dressed like a hacker. Her outfit full of fashionable cyberpunk elements. It's a real must have. Well, if you like that, you are in for a treat because here comes one more. Hershey of Thunder's new outfit, Haunted Dusk. Looks like it belongs on a digital age hunter in a cyberpunk city. Wow, let's take a closer look. This outfit looks like it contains street elements. I see the spray can on her waist and the street art patterns on her clothes. So much to take in. Where can I get this super cool outfit? You'll be able to get it from Homu's treasury. So stay tuned. And to top it all off, there will be a top-up bonuses event in version 5.8. Let's have a look. The top-up bonuses event grants rank-up stamps for Hersher of Thunder and Dia Ankara. You won't want to miss out if you're looking to rank these two up. Based on Captain's feedback, we also updated the starter system. The changes will allow new captains to have a better gaming experience early on. One more thing before we go. The Honkai Impact 3rd 2022 Anime Expo and Japan Expo are almost here. We will be in Los Angeles for the Anime Expo from the 1st to the 4th of July, and in Paris for the Japan Expo from the 14th to the 17th of July. Please follow our official social media accounts for more details. Well, that's all for now. Happy gaming, Captains. See you next time. Bye-bye.